Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. This is a no calculator question. The value of the logarithm of 3 to the base of 2 is which of the following options? Between 1 and 1 third and 1 and 1 half? Between 1 and 1 half and 1 and 2 thirds? Between 1 and 2 thirds and 2? Or between 2 and 3? This is adapted from an Oxford admissions test. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So before I get to the solution, I'll mention this problem is an example of calculating an upper and lower bound. This is a very useful skill in mathematics, particularly if you take a university course like real analysis. So how can we solve this problem? Let's write x is equal to the log of 3 to the base of 2. By the rules of logarithms, this means 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. Now let's raise both sides to the power of 3. Notice that 3 cubed is equal to 27, and 27 is less than 32, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. This means that 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3 will be less than 32, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Consequently, 2 raised to the power of 3x is less than 2 to the power of 5, which then means 3x is less than 5. We then divide both sides by 3 and get x is less than 5 over 3, which is equal to 1 and 2 thirds. This is an upper bound on x. Now we'll do the same sort of exercise to get a lower bound. We start out the same way, but now we'll raise both sides to the power of 2. 3 squared is then equal to 9. 9 is greater than 8, and 8 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3. This means 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 2 is greater than 2 raised to the power of 3, which then means 2 raised to the power of 2x is greater than 2 to the power of 3, so then 2x is greater than 3. We then divide both sides by 2, and so x is greater than 3 halves, which is equal to 1 and 1 half, and this is a lower bound. So now we're going to put these two inequalities together, and we get that x is between 1 and 1 half and 1 and 2 thirds. And that's answer choice B. Incredible! We solved this all without using a calculator. Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.